I can't break down everything that happens in a gut in like one week. I just tweak it in there. And I also throw in and explain to you how good fatty meats are to heal. So some top tips that I give to people that come to me with digestive disorders. Obviously, we want to get to the root cause of things. Huge issues that are at play, low stomach acid. This is an area that doesn't get explored, I don't think, far enough in clinical practice. And people don't think about it out there when you're trying to figure out what's going on. Hey, it is Dr. Rimka coming to you from one of my favorite uh, dining locations here in Atlanta, The Cafe I Am. Go ahead and look them up. Um, it's pretty incredible food, but even better people and energy. So you might hear a little bit of background cooking because the boy Miguel is, what are you making, Michael? Huh? What are you making? Chicken. 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 He's making grilled chicken out on the Bobby. They talk here, they're all South African. And so it's lovely accents, and half the time I don't know what they're talking about. I'm like, what, Eva, 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 Eva. I'm like, avocado? And they're like, yeah. I went, oh, okay, great. So, hi guys. Uh, we've been doing gut health this week, and you know, I hope that you saw the, look at the school kids, um, talk about what I think was the number one cause of causing a lot of gut issues, which was glyphosate, which leads to the leaky gut. So leaky gut's a very popular term, and gut damage and gut disorders are really rampant in America now, where I said about 80% of all Americans are self-describing themselves as having some gastrointestinal issue. And so all the posts this week have kind of tied in, in general, with some gut health um, information, things, how important minerals are, how healing um, gelatin, collagen, bone broth. We, this morning I posted a little bit about, my, about magnesium and how that's involved in, in good digestion. Well, I told you how you can use the product Ion Biome, uh, designed and created by Zach Bush's company, uh, Biomic Sciences, to help create a firewall for the gut lining against glyphosate and other toxins to help tighten some of the junctions and block the poison that comes in, that glyphosate especially that punches holes, um, as well as helping the bugs, the biome that's in there kind of recommunicate. I can't break down everything that happens in a gut in like one week. I just tweak it in there. And I also throw in and explain to you how good fatty meats are to heal. So some top tips that I give to people that come to me with digestive disorders. Obviously, we want to get to the root cause of things. Huge issues that are at play, low stomach acid. This is an area that doesn't get explored, I don't think, far enough in clinical practice, and people don't think about it out there when you're trying to figure out what's going on. Um, that's a huge thing I'm always looking at. I do run labs often on stuff, but a lot of times people come to me and they already know. They have Crohn's, they have irritable bowel, they have the images for me, they have ulcerative colitis, they've dealt with it five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years. They have the resections, we have the colonoscopy uh, images. I don't have to often order any labs and then sometimes I do have to immediately order uh, some things. So we start with like, all right, let's one, deal with putting, stopping poison from coming in and giving you a few things that you know start to heal. And I have to remind them, let's talk about the stomach gas. Let's talk about why your digestion got bad. Well, once the digestion is bad, there's something you make in your stomach, in your gastric juices when things are going well. And when you make enough of this, it's pretty powerful and why digestion is so good and why one of the reasons you can heal your body so well and why you can heal your intestinal lining. But when digestion gets bad, so if you have any gastrointestinal problem, chronic heartburn, uh, what people might call GERD, irritable bowel syndrome, diarrhea, constipation, alternations, constipation just by itself, um, ulcers, Crohn's, IBS, ulcerative colitis, uh, and on and on. If you have any of that bloating, gas, flatulence, or a lot of burping, okay. If you have that, I'm telling you right now, you are not making enough of a gastric compound that contains the actual scientific name of this is body protection compound. Yep. Think about what it does. Your stomach makes something called body protection compound. It's actually a floating chemical that does kill the gut very strongly. You make it yourself, but it can go places where there's inflammation and help. Well, if you aren't making it, you need to be taking it. 
So what that is, is a peptide. Huh? So the most powerful gut regeneration, actual regeneration, not protection, I'm talking regenerating the entire intestinal lining, is called BPC-157. And here's the problem. A lot of you are looking at this little bottle and this little shot and you're like, Doc, that ain't happening. I know it's a little bit weird where you're like, oh, I gotta take this and I gotta suck it up here and then I gotta pinch it and I gotta stuck it in there. Every day? Yeah, pumpkin, you would have to do that. Here's the benefit of, of, of well, let's talk about this. Peptides are a small little snippet of protein. They are a very smart therapeutic intervention, interventive tool because they're made from proteins that the body knows and recognizes. They're not a drug, but they're not really a supplement. They're right in between in this gray area where the FDA and nobody knows what to do with them. A pharmaceutical company cannot make billions of dollars, so they're not really involved with, with peptides, okay? Uh, this is actually an insulin bottle. It's not my BBC 157. Insulin is a peptide. So you guys are actually very familiar with what peptides are, even though you may not have known what they are. Okay, um, these have been, this peptide therapy is not actually new. There's at least 40 years of people clinically using these uh, for, with tremendous uh, results. But again, the money and the research aren't gonna go there because a pharmaceutical company can't patent this and make a crap ton of money. So they're not as motivated to do human clinical trials because it's not worth it, okay? I actually take this. Why do I take BPC-157? every single day, and I have been for a very long time. Because it is a smart peptide, right? It goes beyond my gut, and it goes and I can identify the area of greatest inflammation and destruction and help the body repair it. It regenerates. This is not, this, it's a very powerful, clinically proven regenerative tool. Shoulders, so this is what it's used for the most. Gut disorders joints, cartilage, tendons, musculoskeletal issues. Also nerve regrowth, right? Whether it's peripheral nerves and peripheral neuropathy, things of that nature, or the brain. If you want more information on how powerful this is, I've done a great 30 minute YouTube where I go very in depth into studies and I go very in depth into how powerful it is, but there's a reason my mom just had surgery. There's a reason I've shipped this to her to have her be on it. There's a reason my 15 year old son takes this every day and his 48 year old mother takes it every day. It is the one peptide that I think is the most important for people to be on because it actually not only has a regenerative quality, regenerates your gut, regenerates the intestinal lining, regenerates joints, regenerates musculoskeletal tissues, regenerates nerve tissue. It also increases your protective ability against future injury. So I want my son on it. So he snowboards every weekend. I want to make sure he's protected. I want myself on it in case I'm in a car accident or I fall and hit my head and I'm more protected against concussion. I want my mother on it to heal her intestinal tract, heal her post uh, surgery and to protect her against a potential stroke. Okay. If there's one, there'll be less jam damage and she will recover better if she's taking BBC 157. It's so potent. It's actually looked at as uh, a sports enhancing drug by professional athletes, you know, uh, organizations, which is really kind of stupid as far as I'm concerned because it isn't accelerating you that way. So BPC-157, it needs to be BPC-157. Some people are selling BPC and not the Dash-157. It is not as effective and they're scamming you. Needs to be BPC-157. You need to make sure it's from a clean source and it actually is that. The company I use is American and it's actually oral. You can actually take this in a capsule. Most peptides you can't. There are only a few that you can right now because it's generated from your stomach so it actually can pass through. Again, smart peptide. As far as gut regeneration issues, this is the most potent gut regeneration tool that I have in my arsenal. If you have not tried um, any peptides, BBC 157 for your gut issues, you need to get on it. In general, most cases are only going to take one to two months of twice a day and we'll usually have resolved it. As long as we stop you from 
taking in the poison. So you can't really be drinking bleach and arsenic and mercury and lead, you know, into the stomach and pour this on it and think, well, let me pour po poison and pour this and we'll be fine and it's gonna heal in two months. No, that's not good, that's not fair. Okay, not gonna happen. But in general, that's what you can kind of expect. I usually keep patients on it a two to three month mark before we either taper it off or they may choose to stay on it at a half dose forever just because of the benefits they're getting. Uh, it actually helps with anxiety as well and brain performance. So it, it's, a, it's a really badass uh, therapy. Again, if you want the YouTube link, I will send that to you. Uh, just message us and we'll get you the YouTube or you just go look up you know, Dr. Rimka BPC-157 and it'll come up. It's, I go into it really, it's a, I do a PowerPoint, y'all, with slides. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, it's got pictures. It's often referred to as the Wolverine peptide because that comic hero that can regenerate all the time, it's like, this is what it gives you the superpowers to be able to do. So, uh, and, oh, so here's, the, here's my Friday, uh, Friday celebration. I hit 15,000 followers, y'all. Yay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So in honor of the 15, uh, if you do want to order, we will give you $15 off any BPC-157 bottles in honor of Gut Week and in honor of me hit, hitting 15K. So let's get me to 20K and you'll get $20 off something. Uh, so you just send a message or email us at desk at drimka.com. It's not a direct link. We need to uh, walk you through the steps so we can take the money off an order for you. So BBC 157, if you want the YouTube, um, it's going to be out in my newsletter today or email us desk at drimka.com or drop us a message. Just get in touch with me. $15 off every single bottle of BPC 157 until next week as my thank you for helping getting me to 15000 And the next stop is twenty. Okay, YouTube link. Yeah, I will just, so here's the thing, Ronnie. I can't put it in Instagram, like in the comments. It won't work. So you, you need to send me like a message. So once I do this, yeah, DM means send a direct message. Send a message. Um, so you can do it. Well, it's really, you know, I don't think it's expensive, actually, in terms of what it takes to heal. So if you, if you have like ulcerative colitis or colitis, so in general, you're gonna see these about 150 bucks um, a bottle. We're selling it, again, $15 off, 135. The first month you take two, the next time you only take one. So one bottle lasts two months. So that's the maintenance. So one bottle lasts me two months. I don't take it twice a day, I take it once a day. Um, but if you've ever had digestive disorders and been in severe pain or looking at surgery, that's pretty darn cheap to start going after literal regeneration of your entire intestinal tract, regeneration, regenerating your joints, regenerating nerve tissue. Stem cell injections, I have a quote on where I'm going in Colombia, and my stem cell injection quote, you guys, is $73,000. So $150 a month, $73,000. It's in the, in the world of regenerative medicine, it's incredibly affordable because you aren't getting out of a stem cell injection for under five grand a pop, <laughs> just, just so you know. All right, see you guys. Send me a message or email desk at drnumber.com if you uh, want the coupon and us to help you for next week. Okay, see ya.